Honolulu police issued a pair of warnings today, but they did not make any arrests as they began enforcement of Chinatown's sit lie bill. KITV force Paul Drews shows us the impact of the new law. The sidewalks of Chinatown are cleaner this morning, and it has nothing to do with the rain that swept over the state. Instead, police swept through the streets, letting residents know they could not camp out on the sidewalks between 5 a.m. and 11 p.m. While the law applies to everyone, it mostly impacts the homeless who sleep in storefronts and rest right along the right of way for pedestrians. Sam Say noticed a difference already when he came to work this morning. It seemed pretty quiet. You know, that everybody looked like he's ready to move to the park or move somewhere else. The Smith Baratania Park is where we found a dozen homeless residents who said this is where they'll head to when it's time to get off the sidewalks. Keeping these walkways clear during business hours is expected to be a boost to stores and shops in Chinatown, which is especially important just days before Christmas. I'm happy to see that something will be done. I think it'll alleviate a lot of the problems we have down here. Um, we do have a tough time sometimes with block sidewalks, um, sanitation issues. Um, I think it'll be nice to be able to have our customers come down here and not have to walk in the streets. We'll make our tower more, more, more cleaner, first of all, and second, that uh, people will not afraid of it. They just come down and do some shopping. While the sidewalks may be cleaner during the day, the homeless will be able to return here at night. Some business owners worry that Chinatown's reputation will remain as a dirty, smelly, or unsafe place to be long after the homeless are gone. In Chinatown, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.